Hey guys, in the last chapter we have seen how to configure a target to scrape metrics from an application. However, as the number of applications increases, it becomes difficult to configure each application manually, especially in the container world where pods are dynamically added and removed. In this case, automatically finding the targets based on a pattern becomes more helpful. This is known as service discovery. And that's our topic for this chapter. Today we will see how service discovery works in Prometheus with a complete hands-on. So without any further delay, let's get started. In the previous chapter, we have already seen how to configure static targets using static configs parameter. Besides static configs, Prometheus also supports dynamically discovering targets through various service discovery mechanisms like Kubernetes service discovery configuration, which scrapes the targets from the Kubernetes API, and file service discovery, which reads a set of files containing static configurations and many more. We can find the list of supported service discovery mechanisms in the Prometheus documentation. In this chapter, let us focus on how Kubernetes service discovery mechanism works. This is the job I copied from the default Prometheus configuration. As you can see, this is using the Kubernetes service discovery configuration. The role endpoint instruct Prometheus to discover the targets from the endpoints of a Kubernetes service. If you remember, when a Kubernetes service is created, endpoints are created for targeting the pods. And this role can be endpoints, endpoint slice, service, pod, node, or ingress. We can scrape any of these Kubernetes resources using Kubernetes service discovery mechanism. Once we give this role, we can even filter further what to scrape and what not to scrape based on some rules. For example, we can specify that we only want to scrape services from a specific namespace or we only want to scrape pods with specific labels. This can be achieved with relabel config. This section is very very important in the service discovery. If you see this relabel configs, it's an array of relabeling steps and each relabeling step can have different fields. I'll try to touch few from the default Prometheus configuration. First comes the source labels. This source labels section expects an array of label names which are used to select respective label values. For example, this label automatically generated by the Prometheus when it scrapes the Kubernetes services and begins with two underscores. This corresponds to Prometheus.io slash scrape annotation on the service. We will see how to define this annotation on a service in a minute. Like this, you can define any of the labels of the service. Now, once we give these source labels, we can perform different actions on these label values. Now, this label value can be compared to a regular expression. So here, we define the regular expression as true. That means, Prometheus.io slash scrape annotation should be true. And when this condition is satisfied, we can instruct Prometheus to perform some actions. For example, action keep specifies what targets to scrape and action drop specifies what targets to ignore. That means whenever Prometheus.io slash scrape annotation is true, we should scrape those endpoints. And whenever Prometheus.io slash scrape iPhone slow is true, ignore those endpoints. Replace is another action to override the value of a single label by the contents of the replacement field. For example, when we give this source label value that is Prometheus.io slash path annotation as a custom path, this annotation value will be replaced for the label metrics path. So like this, we can replace a label's value with the replace action. Another action is label map which maps one or more label pairs to different label names. For example, here we are saying to map all the service labels to the Prometheus labels. So whenever we define any label on the service that gets attached to our metrics. I would highly encourage you to go through all the available options from the Prometheus official documentation. But what we discussed should give you a good start. So in short, with this configuration, all we are instructing Prometheus that scrape all the endpoints from the Kubernetes cluster which are having the annotation of Prometheus.io slash scrape which has a value of true and also ignore all the endpoints which are having the annotation of Prometheus.io slash scrape iPhone slow with the value true and also 
replace the matrix path label of our matrix with the annotation value that is given with prometheus.io slash path. All that means is we just need to give these two annotations on our service to get scraped by the Prometheus server. Let us see this in action. Let's come back to the terminal and edit the service. kubectl edit service and to do iphone api is the service name in the namespace to do. Let's go to annotation section and add these two annotations. Let's save it and close to apply the changes. As you can see, the service is updated. That's it. Now the Prometheus server should be able to discover our service endpoints as we added annotations based on the Prometheus server configuration. Now let's go back to the Prometheus UI and go to the status and targets to see if this service is discovered. Let's scroll down and in this job Kubernetes service endpoints we should have our service ready. As you can see this is our service automatically discovered by the Prometheus server without touching Prometheus configuration. To verify if it is fetching the metrics let's go to the graph and execute HTTP server request seconds count. Execute. As you can see the new metrics have been added. These are the metrics from the static configuration that we did in the previous chapter and these are the metrics that are scraped by the service discovery. Let's Let's try to hit an endpoint of our service and see if this count is getting changed in the both static and service discovery matrix. Let's go to Prometheus and hit this get endpoint. Send. As you can see, we got the response. Now let's go back to the Prometheus. Execute. As you can see, the metric with the method get changed to 2 and also in the static configuration, it changed to 2. Also, all the labels that are defined on the service are copied to the Prometheus metrics. Example, this label is here. This is because of the label map action defined on the job. Also, few labels are automatically added by the Kubernetes service discovery. Example, this instance is nothing but the our pod IP. Here is a challenge for you. Based on your understanding so far and after going through the Prometheus documentation, what do you think this relabeling step does? Please let me know in the comment section below. I will update the answer after a week in the description. Isn't it cool? In the next chapter, let us dig deeper into the PromKL syntax. Stay tuned. My name is Pavanil Tepu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the content, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.